Hi Kenneth, here is the uh, feedback for you for your linear systems test. Um, in the first question, and you're asked to do it by graphing, you make, have to make sure that you have an accurate graph. Um, I noticed that over here um, on the graph, um, your lines are not meeting at an exact point. And your points should all be whole number values for these problems. They should actually meet at two three, so over two, up three. That's your point of intersection, and so when you do it by graphing, you should conclude by making it clear that you understand um, that the point of intersection is two comma three, and always have that as your therefore statement at the end of these problems. For question two, you've solved this equation by elimination or by substitution, and you've done a good job here. Everything looks correct. Um, you've got a value of x equals two, and your y value is down here at x equal or y equals eighteen. And so, what I'd like to see you do at this point is, once you've solved it, then again you need a final statement that says, therefore, the point of intersection we use POI as a as a short form is to eighteen, like that. Okay. So when we're looking at question B, um, now with question B, you're doing this by elimination. You're taking the first equation, equation one. And subtracting oops, equation two from it, and then uh, solving for both x and y. And so you've got x equals three, y equals seven. You can check to see if those are correct by putting them back into both equations and seeing if you get the correct answer. Now in this case, if I put x equals three and y equals seven into the left side of the second equation, I'm going to get 3 minus 14, which is equal to minus 11. Now it says here that it should be positive 11, and so there's a problem here somewhere. That points that out to you, and if you go back to your solution, you'll see that y equals minus 7 should have been the solution here because of the um, negative 2y term. Okay, so for question C, you've done a great job here in recognizing that you needed to multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation by 2 in order to, uh, to solve this and set it up for an elimination uh, solution. And if we subtract equation 1 and equation 2, then you end up with 5x equals negative 10, x equals minus 2, that's correct and substituting gives you y equals minus 4. So again, if you try that in both equations um, at the top here, um, and it works in both equations, in other words, the left side equals the right side, then you know that your equations are, or your solutions are correct. And the final step is that I want you to write, therefore, the POI is minus 2 minus 4. Okay, so good job. I can see that you really understand what you're doing here with this uh, topic. Um, just a few little form errors and just also always check your answers. It's always nice when we have a topic where you can actually check your answers before you hand in your work and you'll know whether they're correct or not and it saves you a lot more marks on your overall mark. So keep up the good work. Kenneth, you're doing, doing very well.